Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. The king is dead, long live the king. So the GTX 580 has officially been overthrown as the fastest GPU, and when I say GPU, I mean graphics processing unit, not video card, because it could be argued the 6990 or the GTX 590 are faster video cards. But now we have the Radeon 7970. This is a DirectX 11.1 .1 graphics card with three gigs of RAM using a new manufacturing process that enables not only better performance than we've ever seen before on a single processing unit, but also unheard of power consumption. However, it should be noted that that won't necessarily fix your gaming skills. More on this graphics card in a moment. Now this new GPU from AMD, the 7970, is able to, using 28 nanometer manufacturing technology squeeze over 4 billion transistors into a GPU. Now what that would normally mean in the past is a very big, very hot, very power consuming chip. But that is not the case at all. AMD has used some fairly unique technology which they call Zero Cool, which allows up to four Radeon 7970s to scale back their power consumption, turn off various parts of the cores to the extent that four of these cards at the same time at idle will consume only just over 20 watts of power from your system. Simply phenomenal because the primary card is able to scale back quite a bit and any subsequent cards are able to scale back to about three watts of power. Now something we noticed is that in any kind of extended idle scenarios, that is whenever your screen goes blank, not only do the cards scale back in terms of their power consumption, but they actually even turn their fans off. So if you go to sleep at night and you leave your computer on in your room, you won't even have to worry about fan noise if you have a quiet CPU cooler and a quiet power supply because your graphics card is going to turn right off. We also see a huge benefit to one of AMD's trademark features over the last couple of generations, and that is iFinity. Not only does iFinity get support for an additional monitor, so 7970s and 7950s are all going to support quad displays in iFinity mode, we also get a much needed boost in terms of the frame buffer size. So right now, every 7970 on the market has three gigs of graphics memory. What that means is that when you're running large resolutions across multiple monitors, you're not gonna run out of frame buffer on the graphics cards, which means you're not going to have to swap out textures to your disc, causing the game to lag and stutter, especially when you move from one area to another. This is especially important for Crossfire users because most users believe that if they take two, two gig graphics cards, remember most of the last gen ones were two gigs for the high end, they think that they're getting four gigs of graphics memory in Crossfire, but they're not because both of those cards have to load the same textures because of the way they work together. So now when you run two 7970s in Crossfire mode, you have six gigs of total memory or you have three gigs each, but they both have to have the same textures, three gigs is going to be all the difference in the world when you're running at three times 1080p in iFinity mode to keep performance at its best. Now let's talk performance. Now I did say the old king was dead. The GTX 580 has been cleanly beaten pretty much across the board by anywhere from about 15 to 20 plus some odd percent. Now that doesn't factor in overclocking. The 7970 comes at a fairly conservative clock speed, but these GPUs are already well known to be capable of clocking at one gigahertz plus. So that means that once you get your card home, there is a fair amount of performance to be unlocked. And when you overclock them and get that performance boost, they have been known to even beat the old flagship card. This is a dual GPU card from AMD, the Radeon 6990, which has dual 6970 processors on it. So what that means is we've got a single GPU that is extremely efficient at idle, performs like a beast, is fairly quiet for a high-end card, and yeah, basically just cleans up. I mean, if you guys want something that you can compare against at home, we're using the Comrades level here in Battlefield 3. You saw us running that at the beginning of the episode. We've also got all of the details set to the Ultra preset, which means we have four times anti-aliasing, 16 times anisotropic filtering. We've got motion blur on, everything cranked to Ultra at 1080p, and we are getting frame rates 
in a firefight situation that are well in excess of 100 FPS. That means not only, well, you can run way above the refresh rate of any screen in Battlefield 3, but what it also means is that when it's time to split that out into 3 times 1080p, you can expect somewhere in the neighborhood of about 65 to 70 FPS when you blow up the resolution so big. So that means it's got plenty of power for single monitor, and then power to spare and frame buffer to spare for multi-monitor or large resolution configurations. Because another thing to note over previous generation products is that the 7970 supports 4K resolution out of its display port. So we are ready for future displays if we upgrade to a 7970. So thank you for checking out this little review and introduction on NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.